A new miracle treatment found in this and this? Find out what I'm talking about in this video. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you've yet to do so, click there to subscribe. Hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And then when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Well, there is a mystery supplement. Just so happens to be in red wine. It happens to be in these guys. Yummy blueberries. Mmm. These are good, but they're cool. They just, they just came out of my freezer. It's in this red onion. And this apple peel. Even in green tea. What is it? It happens to be this supplement. It's called Kercetin. A paper published in 2014 is titled Kercetin, a promising treatment for the common cold. Currently in Montreal, Canada right now, there's researchers who are studying uh, Kercetin for its effect against COVID-19, the coronavirus. Um, they had actually studied the use of kercetin um, against the SARS virus. The researchers are finding that kercetin is able to inhibit viral replication early on in the process. So it's not specific to a uh, unique type of virus. It can affect multiple different viruses, especially the respiratory viruses, pre preventing them from multiplying, turning into a huge problem in the first place. The 2014 paper states that this kercetin acts as a potent antiviral agent by inhibiting replication of several of the respiratory viruses. I really wasn't aware of kercetin having any antiviral potential. So just to read that, I was just so surprised. I mean, the article came out in CBC about a week ago. I'm like, really? I did some more research and sure enough, I mean, there's here's like a a credible published paper looking at the exact same thing and I've never heard of it. Which just goes to show there's so many really like wonderful natural options. One of the big things the Montreal researchers were saying is that, you know, potentially if they can show that kercetin is effective, I mean, you know, for upwards of $2 a day, you can help someone who say who's infected with COVID-19. Yeah, as opposed to, you know, potentially thousands of dollars a day for these really strong conventional antiviral medications. So what would be the best way to be giving kercetin to your dog or cat? Say little Tula here, she's got kennel cough. I'm like, hmm, what would I give you? Well, I've talked about a number of other things for kennel cough. I think this would be a really wonderful option. Obviously, I'm not going to give her blueberries, although I, I don't know, she eat a blueberry? Oh, surprise, she's licking the blueberry. I won't be eating that. Nor red onion, ah, there goes my blueberries, nor the red wine. That being said, we have kercetin as a supplement. Ta-da, by far the easiest way to be dosing your dog or cat. These fingers, they're purple because of the blueberries, the kercetin filled blueberries. So as far as a standard dose, there isn't an obvious published dose. When you extrapolate it back based on the human dose, you're looking at approximately three milligrams per pound uh, twice daily. So something like little Tula, 20 pounds, 60 milligrams twice a day, 120 milligrams. These are 250 milligram capsules. Uh, I'd be inclined to just give her one of these a day. But it can be much higher. I mean, they're looking at published human doses of 500 milligrams three times a day for allergies, 500 milligrams twice a day for prostatitis. In doing my research, I was also pleasantly surprised to find that kerastatin is also in this. It's in the elderberry extract. And that's what I've discussed for use of colds and flu uh, for our dogs and cats, especially with its potent antioxidant properties, but in part because of the kerastatin that's in it. So it's just, yeah, so neat to see like, okay, we've got elderberry proven to be effective against colds and flu. I'm like, huh, 
maybe keratin is part of the you know part part of why it is in the first place so one i'm just you know pretty pumped to see like here's like this well-known natural remedy uh, that's been discussed at, for its anti-inflammatory properties especially with allergy but also being potentially beneficial against infectious disease thanks so much for watching this edition of the energy secret on keratin and how this relatively old supplement could be so beneficial for our dogs and cats and even ourselves if you've yet to do so click up there to subscribe hit the bell to sign up for notifications and then when you click that link directly in the box below i can send you a copy of my free book